You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way? Being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing, but I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. Psycho Sally still seems to be searching for herself out there. It takes a long time for the echo of betrayal to finally fade, Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Or else, one of these days, her opponent's gonna knock it right off. Oh, Damn. from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Going for the back slot. No! Driver! Wow! Breathtaking standing shooting star. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Up on the turnbuckle now. At this point in the matchup, obviously this superstar's thinking. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. She's a win. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, that's Psycho Sally putting her in-ring acumen to good use. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. She has no idea where she is right now. And Sally is countered. Finally, Thea's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Yeah, Thea's survival instincts are taking over. Ooh, look at her answering back. A running Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. A rope step! Beautiful, all the way down to the outside. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Ooh, stop to the back and make it twice. Ouch. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Any of Thea Hale's defenses have been... Uh-oh. Way too oh, hard. Diving moonsault. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top, double stop. Agility. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. <laughs> Wicked forearm. He's looking to end this. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. And now about do it, folks. Here is your winner. Psycho. And this was a disappointing result for Thea Hale. Thea Hale still has a lot to learn in this industry, and this loss proves it. I'm sure she'll take this loss as a learning opportunity. Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, 
Psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Aw, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe. But I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally. I just won a match by straight up cheating. Held my opponent's tights. One, two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the caps and rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. They are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that shared betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. Ooh, she just turned it around! Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. Ooh, what a head scissor takeover. into the corner. Tag was made. Oh, right to the body. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Yeah. Alabama slam. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Yeah. Oh, and a bad breaker. Right to the spine. Had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Oh, oh this is gonna hurt. Ah, stop to the belly. Jane has no control here. Yeah, JC's being completely neutralized. Hard shot to the back. Here's the pump handle. Backbreaker. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Come on, big back body drop. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. She's rummaging around under the ring here. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon. she do it here? She gets a quick kick out there. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. This combo is out of this world, Cole. It's a lunar one. Got the tag. Got the tag. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. She's got a chair, and her opponent is in her sights. What a response from Sally. out the window and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. The lunar combo! Oh, tossing chairs like it's hardcore heaven. This match 
to spill that. This superstar just got themselves disqualified. Wow, that was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know, that felt freaking incredible! Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy, I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why... That's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah! We attack the tag team champions, they're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure. We could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. I make no promises. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread <laughs> agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. Guys, this match is going to be madness. Pure, unadulterated madness. There's just no better way to describe what we're about to witness. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Position will create separation. Oh, and a reversal. And her countouts mean she has the whole outside to play with. The steel chair never as innocent as it looks. That will keep Dawn at bay. Down, down the impact. Stomping. Ouch. Somersault reverse DDT. She's on her last legs here. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Cutter! Planted face first. Back into the ring. Cutter never ceases to amaze me. And oh my God, what a far! That's a jump. You heard? <laughs> Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep, worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. 
Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality. Brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is. It's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No. No, you don't. You feel like a bully. And that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But... We got a title opportunity. And we are gonna go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives, and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho! Hell yeah! But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea. Because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. So let's go win the tag team titles and prove it. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge to the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're gonna get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more than just antics, Corey. These two challengers have shown they're fully capable of making just as much noise fairly as they do outside the rules. Set up in the corner of the ring. That will keep Dawn at bay. Running Hurricane Rana! A display of quickness, and you can bet that got the champ's attention. Hit with the cutter. There's a tag. What are we gonna see here? Double team effort. Double shoulder block. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Oh, nasty flipping senton. Go behind. German suplex. Nine. Big impact. And she dodged that one nicely. <laughs> oh, the human torture rack. Up and down. What a slam. Uh-oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Stop right to the belly. And Isla falters there. Seeing some no-nonsense offense from Carly Prime. What a gut wrench powerbomb. You have to question what kind of mal of 10 is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Slam. Looks like Carly Prime has taken the upper hand. Dawn's being systematically worked on. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Wrecking the shoulder. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. The challenger looked unhinged with an absolutely uncorked attack on the champ there. She's pushed into the corner. He decides. Jeez. You don't often see the champion get thrown around that easily. And Alba only finds herself on the defensive. Yeah, she needs to revise her methods quickly. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. That's gonna fire you up with anger. Gets clobbered with the axe handle. And the challenger showing the champions what it means to be a top tier team. Alba shifts that to her favor. Oh. 
Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh. now. There's the Canadian Destroyer. Wow. Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. And sent right into the corner. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. I can only imagine what it'll... Looking for something big up top. He just tosses them off. She's able to make it. Shoulder tackle. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The champ has been taken to their limit. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Into a gut buster. Nice. Ooh, man. Wait for it. Boom! Alabama slam. Flipping senton. That was nice. Looks like Carly Prime has taken the upper hand. Tough spot for Isla. Oh, my God! Drop kick! Snap mail right into the surfboard stretch. No, she, she breaks it. Big escape there. Shoulder tackle. Oh, saw it coming. Finally, Dawn's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. This could be a good chance for Dawn to get some distance and rethink things. To retain the title. A kick out before won by the challenger. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Uh-oh. Up and Alley-oop. face first. That was awesome. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Cover. And we have new tag team champions. Here are your winners. The team of Psycho Sally and Carly. An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. Hey, partner. How you feeling? Uh, like I just learned how to fly? Tag team champions? How's that for Psycho? Absolute madness. Ooh, that's not a bad team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho? Hmm, possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, <sighs> gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now, you're on fire! Maybe I was. Cap messed me up, but she also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. For now? For now. <laughs>